of all we've accomplished, you <laughs> You've read well over a thousand pages of historical text. A thousand pages. You've analyzed countless documents, pictures, photos, sculptures, art. You got this. You know it. You recognize the significance of the Paleolithic era. The fact that 250,000 years, we were hunter-gatherers. 95% egalitarian people moving in bands of 20, 30, 40 people. You know this. You got this tomorrow. You recognize that 12,000, 10,000, 8,000 years ago, everything changed. The birth of agriculture. We get the significance of it. We get that politically, economically, socially, culturally, religiously, environmentally, everything changes then. You know it. You got it. You get Mesopotamia, Egypt, the Indus River Valley. You know this stuff. You understand the foundational period of the classical era. The Romans, the Hans, the Persians, the Mauryans, the Gutas, the Greeks, the people of Teotihuacan. You got this tomorrow. You know this. You recognize the economic and cultural significance of the regional and trans-regional trade routes, the Silk Roads, the Sand Roads, the Sea Roads. You know this. You get the Mongols, the Caliphate, Byzantium. You got it. You know when things changed in 1492, the beginning of the Columbian Exchange, when the Afro-Eurasian world in the Americas, for the first time ever, has sustained connection. You get potatoes, you get sugar cane, you know it, right? <laughs> you get the hugeness that is the Industrial Revolution, Great Britain's Industrial Revolution, the world's revolution, the fact that every single aspect of your life, from Alex's shoe, <laughs> to Rashmi's phone is an effect of the Industrial Revolution. You know the horrors and deaths of the 20th century conflicts, but you also get the humanitarian organizations who emerge out of that. You know this. I want to end this how we began this with a quote you've looked at all year. 